It may break, it may not. Woo! Ow. <laughs> I can see the fish though. She says. I don't think you will be able to. <laughs> down comes half the tree yeah that's not a good idea so guys um been a bit busy recently so that's why we haven't seen a video for a few weeks there are more coming um but tonight i did a quick shoot um in the dark using the rotolite aos as you can see there in the video and the sony a7r4 um also the 135 uh, g master lens and also the saf uh, the um samyang 35mm f1.4 uh, AF lens as well. All is handheld. These shots here are ISO sort of 200, and the ones later on, which are in a telephone box, are ISO 2500. Uh, some converted to black and white, some left as colour, depending on how I thought it may work uh, best. Um, really, quite a short shoot. It was cold, it's windy, um, damp, there's quite a bit of moisture in the air as well. Um, and uh, I didn't want Sapphire to uh, get too cold so basically we uh, did a very quick 10 minute shoot here in the woods and then we moved on to uh, another location uh, for another probably 5 or 10 minutes and that was it so sort of a 20 minute full time uh, full shooting time uh, with a sort of 10 minutes uh, driving in between uh, the locations other than that it worked really nicely uh, roadside AOS sort of running at about 35% most of the time nowhere near full blast um, but worked really nicely actually and shutter speeds were sort of 1 60th of a second obviously I could have turned it up but then you're just pushing light into the woods and I didn't really want to light up too much into the distance um, and just just wanted to see how it worked really obviously not used the uh, a7r4 for anything like this yet well until now um, pretty pleased with it worked pretty well uh, black and white conversions I cranked up the uh, the clarity a little bit just to add a bit of texture um, and a sort of graininess I quite like the in black and white just a little bit of extra grain just I think it just gives it a bit more feel to the image and a bit more sort of uh, you know emotion or whatever to the actual image uh, color ones um, pretty good M messing around with the uh, the rotor lights uh, color temperature just to uh, make it feel a little bit warmer um, obviously it wasn't very warm I think it was about seven or eight degrees Celsius in the woods, but there was obviously wind as well. Um, but worked really nicely. We've not shot together for quite a while since the summertime, so a massive contrast in temperature and obviously lighting. So as you can see here, um, kind of as it's Halloween, we didn't go over anything spooky. We weren't going to do witches or, or um, zombies or anything like that. We just thought you know we'll keep it, you know, nice and natural, um, but still quite dark at the same time. Um, a little bit sexy, but nothing too, too far. Um, still classy, um, but she loves them, loves the shots, which is really nice. So that's good to hear. As you can see, they're nice and sharp. Um, quite harsh in the in the shadows, which I quite like, um, and that's what I was kind of going for. So worked really well. Um, I shot the A7R4 on non-compressed raw, so un um, yeah, so um, uncompressed raw. Um, just to make sure I had the full de um, dynamic range from the camera, especially in sort of this sort of situation. Most of the time, you can get away in the daytime of shooting uh, compressed rolls, especially if you're um, working fast and you're doing plenty of uh, burst shoots. Um, right, so we found a telephone box. These are quite rare nowadays in in the UK, um, especially to find one with actual working phone in it. They're normally uh, either a defib now or even a library <laughs> uh, in some of the little villages and stuff like that. So uh, to find one. Um, it's actually got a phone in it. Um, it's very rotten. It was very cobwebby. There's lots of spider webs everywhere. Um, so shooting black and white, one or two color ones. Um, but I just think it really worked as a, um, you know, it's dark outside. It's cold. It's windy, um, and it just, I don't know, the rustic look. I mean, this this thing may only be here for a few more years. You know, it may disappear. But as you can see, the back window there is all rot. So I'm not sure how long it'll uh, be there for, but um, just worked really nicely, um, as you can see there. Minimal ed editing, um, just a couple of uh, adjustments there, and obviously a black and white uh, conversion. 
Um, but uh, yeah, GoPro Hero 7 Black working quite well in complete darkness almost, apart from the, the little light in the uh, the telephone box there. So this one we had no, I didn't use the AOS at all, literally it was just the light um, from the uh, telephone box above. So worked quite nicely, such a shot ISO 2500, um, f3.5 on the uh, Samyang 35mm. And uh, just a little bit quick experimentation, really. Um, she wanted to do a shoot again, and uh, obviously it was dark, so we had to make the most of what we had. And uh, it was this one obviously worked really nicely, the telephone box. Um, and uh, obviously in the woods briefly, uh, which was good. And it's not raining, finally. It wasn't actually raining, so it's been raining in the UK for the last month or so, um, on and off regularly. So... It's been quite difficult to shoot outside trying to get some of the autumn leaves and things like that. Um, I'm hoping it's going to start drying out and you know allowing us to do more sort of colourful wintry style or autumn to into winter style shoots. Um, really like this shot here. Um, and it's just just in black and white I just think the textures come out better. You know just old and old, say it's an old fashioned phone but it is, well, it's pretty old that's been there for quite a few years that phone. So um, looking through the dirty glass it's not been cleaned in in probably a year or two um, all covered in cobwebs and uh, just grime really and then the last shot I took which was um, stood back away from the telephone box and Sapphire came out and she just leant against the door the door was really heavy on the closer um, she just uh, stood there leant against it and uh, all handheld um, and uh, that worked quite nicely that shot there I thought um, but yeah just a bit of fun really it was we had an hour um we didn't shoot for an hour but uh by the time we'd driven around a bit and everything it was uh you know an hour had passed kind of thing but yeah i mean sort of 20 minutes at the most i think eventual shooting time thereabouts um got us the shots we wanted and uh still pretty pleased really uh a7r4 very impressed with uh what it can do yeah so guys so don't forget to click the subscribe button and also the little notification bell um, obviously make sure you ask some questions if, you, if you're if you thinking about getting the A7R4, anything like that, I'm happy to help and uh, I shall see you soon.